What's up, y'all? It's me, it's your boy Asmongold, and today we're over here in BWD, and I'm going to show you guys the uh, Warlords of Draenor scaling changes and uh, how they work in uh, old raid instances. Now, I did one of these about Firelands also, and so uh, hopefully if you guys want even more, uh, I don't know, just want to see how Firelands will go, I have a video of that also, but uh, this is going to be BWD. Now, uh, guys, I mean, you can't just go in here and just not even pay attention and just hit all your buttons and just kill all the bosses. I mean, it just really doesn't go over that way. I mean, it's very difficult, you know, these bosses are still hard, and, oh, never mind, they're dead. So, yo, this is not even a big fucking deal at all. Like, this is awesome. Like, I feel like a god. I'm running in here, killing Magma in 10 seconds. Like, I, this is this is a dream come true. I've dreamed of this moment for four years, and today it is a reality, and I'm very happy about that. Uh, it will make transmog raids significantly easier, even though I have all the loot in here anyway. Now, I might actually try Heroic next week, because today is Tuesday, and I actually had to get the achievement for normal mode. Actually, because I didn't kill Nefarian, I guess I can't do uh, Heroic next week. Maybe I'll do Heroic Firelands. Either way, that's aside from the point. And uh, as you guys can see here, there's the Omnitron defense system that just got... I don't even see... Uh, the, the trash mob The trash mob died after, after it did. So, you know, not, not, not very deadly. And uh, I, I am... Uh, I'm the Gladiator Stance, which is like this prot spec. I don't really know how it's going to fit in, honestly. I'm kind of, you know, I don't really know because it's really good. It has amazing AoE. It has amazing defenses. It never has open GCDs. It is just a very, it's probably the best spec for Warriors right now in the game. And so, I, oh, Meloriac has like 2 or 3 million health. I can't, re I can't even read it from here. But I can see that he's at half health, and I just started a fight a few seconds ago. So I'm a pretty well bet that he's uh, not very hard to kill. And uh, there, now he's dead. And so he's really not very hard to kill. Warwick went down like a bitch. He didn't even summon out any of his ads. And so uh, this is going to be pretty nice. And so uh, if you guys don't know, I've got the PvP gear. Like whenever you make a character on the Mechatork server, they give you all of the PvP gear, and that guy is green, I guess, something. Somebody messed something up with his uh, his models, and then that happened. I wasn't really, did not want that to happen, but it did happen to me, and it, I guess the execution sentence was not scaled down, actually, because it hit me for 30,000, which is, seems like a lot. And uh, anyway, uh, Atromedius was also extremely easy to kill. Now, Chimeron, Chimeron, uh, you know, the first time I did this a couple days ago, I felt like the biggest badass, and so I didn't even open up the little uh, thing that prevents you from dying if you're over, above 10,000 health, and uh, he killed me. And so that kind of sucked, because uh, his Massacre still did a million damage. I was expecting it to do scaled down damage, it didn't, and so uh, that was kind of shitty. But uh, what's really good about this is that, you know, you guys know that I like to do the uh, solo guides, and I'm probably going to do solo guides for all of these different bosses and probably, I don't know, a few weeks. And uh, I'll change them, obviously, if anything drastic changes between beta and live. But, uh, you know, I'll do achievement guides for all you guys who want to get the uh, different achievements for uh, Missa Pandaria, or not Missa, uh, Cataclysm, Cataclysm Dungeons, who, uh, who haven't gotten them yet and want to solo them. And so I'll be doing that the same way I did uh, solo or... Uh, Old War and uh, Soul ICC guides, and uh, same with the Pandaria five minutes. I'll be doing all that uh, as soon as it's pretty much, I don't know, more set in stone. I'm gonna wait a few weeks to see if they're gonna make any real big changes. But other than that, I mean, these things are very, very easy to do, and so you guys can definitely look forward to seeing that. And probably, ooh, I don't know, like I would say, I might make the first video in like two or three weeks. And so I'm not really, it's not like right about to happen, but uh, there's no rush either way because of War of Strain or isn't even out. And uh, so Chimera is supposed to hit really hard. Like, I mean, you guys remember, if you don't, uh, I'll just remind you, Chimera was a motherfucker. Like, Chimera hit really, really hard, and he's hitting me for like a thousand right now. Like, I'm feeling like the biggest badass in the game. And so, and now Chimera's dead, and I got an achievement because he's dead. So I'm really happy about this whole thing. Mm. Now, I said before, I say it again, if you're trying to do this just for fun, or whatever the fuck, you don't kill Nefarian, it's not going to happen. Like, maybe I could kill Nefarian if I really spent a lot of time figuring out when to use my cooldowns and all this other stuff, but uh, my idea of fun is not doing progression on the beta realm on Cataclysm Dungeons, and so, uh, long story short, uh, if she does the... 
what is it, this this breath here, this breath of shadow flame, uh, you're going to be having a bad day because it pretty much does like full damage. It does as much damage as it does on the Etsy that I'm dead. And so that kind of sucked. And uh, I'll show you guys another clip where I do, do a little bit better. And uh, But anyway, so some of this stuff isn't scaled down for Nefarian. Basically any Shadow Flame damage uh, was not scaled down. Same with Nefarian's uh, Shadow Flame Barrage from Phase 2. But uh, other than that, I just wanted to show you guys pretty much what was going on. A lot of you guys have asked for more uh, more videos about the different scaling changes and all that. And so I pretty much figured I'd hook it up. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, you guys can obviously go and do this if you have beta. Just uh, make a character on the Mechatork server and, you know, boost you to 90 and you can go do whatever you want. And, uh, you know, as you guys can see, uh, Onyxia hardly does any damage at all outside of the uh, the breath. And so it's really just that one thing that wasn't scaled down. And uh, honestly, okay, here comes the fairy and I'll show you guys pretty much what was going on. I thought that maybe I could, like, burn him down. And honestly, if I could go back and do this, what I would do is probably not attack him at all and just kill Onyxia. But as I said, I didn't really want to do progression on Cataclysm stuff, and then that happened on Dead. So that kind of sucked, but uh, other than that, uh, it was a pretty fun thing to do. And as I said before, if you have the Mechatork server uh, on beta, you can go ahead and do the same thing too. But that's pretty much all I've got. So thanks for watching, and like, comment, subscribe.